I'm with the winning team, people! Big up to everyone at KBT, especially Uncle Slavnikum. Big up KBT Weekly. I've got the chili chicken mac. Yeah, bro, what the fuck, man? We've got a weightlifting competition later on in the afternoon. It's all cheap now with a new event. When so you shut down, you switch everything up. No. Who, sir? What is that supposed to mean? Nobody knows who done it, Ferris. UPS done, parcel force done, and I'm done. I'm here. Stanley's right here, people. Stanley ain't going nowhere. I will make my shoulder on your job. Furious Fury, everyone. It's been a great day. I found the fabrics that came here for. Shout out to KBT Weekly. One more. Go on, son. KBC, like family as well, so it's good to have you guys here. Welcome back to KBT Weekly episode 17. Today you join us in Leicester. It is Saturday. As you know, we don't normally vlog on the weekend, but we've been invited down by Zed to this networking event. We have turned up about an hour late. Nothing new there. That is our speciality, turning up late. But it looks like we've turned up just in time. Not for lunch time, but for dinner time. So we're going to sit down. We're going to catch up with Zed. We have missed the opening speech, but that's not to worry. The main event doesn't start till after dinner. And obviously, Armour's already eyed up Chuckleberry on the way down. Okay guys, here we are. What I'm going to say to you all is that change is never going to happen. We are the change. We all have to be the change that we want to see in England or anywhere else in the world, right? We all have to come together, get on the table. If we can't sort it out ourselves, then we can't blame anybody else. Today I'm so proud to see so many different communities here, right? Now, next time I do this event, they'll all be seeing together, mixed, right? That's what the diversity is all about. We're just in the midst of a pop quiz. How much do you know about cricket? I don't know much, but we got Uncle, who's the captain of our table. He smashed out every question. Inshallah, we will win this trophy. Just know we're savages. If we don't win, we're going to find out who does win and we're going to take that trophy back to Birmingham. Yeah, we're going to take the trophy back to Birmingham, Uncle, don't worry. But hook or crook? So we've just got former England all-rounder, Chris Lewis, just behind us. We're going to go over, give him a handshake, see if we can get a picture with him. Evening, people. Love and respect. Big up KBT Weekly. So we're just having dessert, we're having some kheer. Reminiscing about my days in school. We got one at least, Jolo. We won the quiz. Thank you, Uncle. No, I'm joking. We didn't even get one question right. Oh, we got one. <laughs> Thank you so much for inviting us down. Wonderful event that you organize here. I'm very happy that Ferris takes a lot of time out, being that the young man that he is, businessman investing back into the community, right? The man just had two plates of ghee, yeah? Which is rice pudding, if you don't know. He had two plates of it, bro. And he still wants to go chuckleberry. A man goes, I want to lose weight. How are you going to lose weight, bro? If all you think about is eating dessert, tell me. Please tell me. Because someone at KBT Weekly, what? Bro, don't zoom into my belly. Cause this is healthy, bro. See, in Eastern culture, yeah, the more East you go in the world, if you look like this, you are the done. You are healthy. What a wonderful event hosted by Zed and the team. If you didn't catch the gist of what was going on, it was mostly about diversity and inclusion in cricket and in other sports, mostly cricket. So we had a presentation from a gentleman who was supported by the ECB to look into the inequalities in cricket. He had vast amount of data. It was quite a lot of information to take in. So we were sitting there, you know, trying to absorb all this information. But that's everything from us from Leicester. We're going to head over towards Chuckleberry. We'll see you guys Monday for the rest of KBT Weekly episode 17. Welcome back to KBT Weekly episode 17. Join us on a Monday morning inside the office, not outside, inside for sure. Plenty on today, as you know, Mondays are always hectic. It's just coming up to 11 o'clock, just printed all the orders, handing them down to the boys. Other than that, we've got signs coming today to have a look at the signs outside. Hopefully he's going to take one of the letters off have a look what's required, have a look at the internals of the sign. They put these signs up when I was still in school, so you can imagine how long they've been up there. When they rebuilt the building in 2005 slash 2006, the signs must have gone up around about 2007. Can't say they haven't had a good innings. The signs have been up there for, what, 14 years now? Is that, is that my maths right? Yeah, Armour, thank you, sir. Thank you, yeah. I always did well in maths. 14 years, right, they've been working. That's mad, isn't it? Just to think about it. 
so the boys from Academy Signs are just here. They've just bought the tail lift. They're going to go up, have a look what's required of the job, and then give us a quote. So we'll try and get a few words from them. The plan is just to have a look what's to get it all to move and act properly and correctly. Okay. So I'm just going to have a quick look at it. See what LEDs are. One in thing it. I gotta I gotta advise you. They are on. Yeah, it's all right. And because uh, I got no way of switching, they're either on or they're off. When so, you shut down, you switch everything off. No, they need they, that's supposed to be on a dust at all. Oh, it's on a uh, sensor somewhere. It should be on a sensor, but the sensor is faulty now. What they did, they buried the sensor in one of the steels in the post, and to get to it, you have to be like, what's that guy from? Uh, the ninja. Yeah, like a ninja. <laughs> you got to bend round, and I'm like, I'm I'm way too big. I can't do it. And we're all heavies here, so. Well, we've got some smaller guys at our place. We've been there. No, but I want to strip it out. Where is it? Up on the roof. So wherever, so wherever the source of electric is. Right. Right. I want to take that out and then change it and put a dusty dawn on it. Right. But for now, let's just change the signs. Yeah. Uh, let's just change the LEDs. Yeah. I ain't changing it right now. No, 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 no. no yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So go on, talk us through what you're doing then. I'm going to just take one of the letters off, yeah. get the cap let, the height, the length of the side, and then it'll be quoted to you how many LEDs are going in it, and then I'll quote you. Nice one. So they have loaded the jobs. They have in this one like brown colour as well. I think 70 and 60 like each they have pairs. So now I'm helping them to finish it today. So that's why I start working in machines. So I have to count them one as well. So they have medium and large. And the other brother checking it. England is good. But no, one country is different, bro. If I'm working here, I support family there, bro. No, whatever happens, how far you are from your parent, you can make them happy. So like you can make them happy from many ways if you can't take care of your family you can send them monies here as well if you're busy in work buy them something so family happy with small small thing not with the big thing they don't want anything from you they want you to be happy i'm new here and like like i don't know anything i know most of here the stuff but like it's hard for me to find everything so if I finish one job, I have to go as such, and then I ask such, I say, what shall I do next? So I, I don't start anything for myself, because maybe I make one mistake, or send wrong deliveries. So it's, it's hard as well, and it's very easy as well, when you talk, like teamwork. So the teamwork, we make dream work, yeah? We literally don't have any time to make jackets for ourselves, let alone for anyone else. So we're gonna to speak to Suk about Pricing these jackets up, pricing our own jackets up. If all is well and Nadi accepts, we can leave the job there. My hands are here, yeah? Look. Could do that all day, but we got better things to do. Let's get out of here. So the guys from Academy Science came, they took one of the letters off, they've had a look at the working behind it. They're going to work out a price and if we're happy with it, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the job done. These little things, they do bother me. I mean, I, I can't sleep at night knowing the lights are not working, but it, in respect of that, it's still maintenance of the brand, of the business. Obviously my man Ziarat, he did one day last week and then he's disappeared. I think I overworked the poor guy. I am in need for some new staff. Uh, as I mentioned before, so if you are looking for a job, call me, just call me, yeah, 0121 359 2349, call me, make sure. So we just turned up to Suk's place, just head on in, we'll show him the jackets, see if we can get a price off him today. We'll discuss our jackets afterwards, but customer comes first. Let's go inside. Quick introduction, guys, this is Suk. Uh, we work alongside each other, we do a lot of business together, and uh, as I say, we're too overloaded at the moment, so we've bought these jackets over to Suk and see if we can get these guys to finish them up for us. So, what's happening, bro? I'm all right, how you doing? Okay, let's let's open the jacket up first. It's just on the side, yeah. Okay, so in a nutshell, he's yeah. got a car wash, yeah. right? So what he wants is his zip covered. Zip covered. Right? So you just want to flap down here, really? Basically. Yeah. Somebody's donated these to him, I don't know. Nutty? So he wants post in yellow and the border on the outside black. Yeah. Uh, post has to be black. 
and the border outside has to be yellow. So we just had a discussion in depth, decided what we want to do. We spoke to Nadi, he's told him what he wants doing. So we've decided to put a flap with a Velcro rather than stitch it permanently what Noddy was saying last week we're going to put a flap on and we're going to velcro it down so if they do decide to open and close the zip they can the logo we're going to put a plaque and we're going to embroid the logo onto it they're going to do one jacket see how it comes out send that off to Noddy get his approval if he accepts it all is well and we'll get the rest of them done we're going to grab some lunch and then head back towards KBT find us in m &S again and I'm having orange juice today. For lunch today, I'm having bang bang prawn poke bowl. One, two, three. Amur. What are they? Satsumas. Some bananas. Mmm, mmm, mmm. But no, we're not gonna do it. Very busy, mate. I'm my own, I'm a Todd. So if anyone needs a job, Working in this place. Come down. KBT. You know where we are. We could do the next repair of ends. So we just had a delivery come in. I always make a point to check on the delivery note. If the delivery note says 100 meters, make sure there's 100 meters on the roll and vice versa for products, just to make sure we're paying for what we've actually received rather than just willy nilly paying invoices. I am the 007 of fabrics, certainly. So eyes in the back of your head, constantly. Listening. Nafis is our target to be employee of the month this month. If he carries on going the way he does and doesn't take any more days off, then he shall get a gold star at the end of the month. We don't right. come in at nine o'clock and sit down, whoa, whoa. Spring, visit the bathroom, spring. you know, pick your nose, you know, do this, do that, and Cash. then decide to work at about, you know, Love. half nine. Can you press that spring and say Woosa at the same time. Woosa? Yeah. That means like, you know, it's alright. Woosa? What is that supposed to mean? Woosa. Woosa. You're supposed to rub the earlobes like this, look. Yeah. Like this, look. Like this. Woosa. Is that, are you feeling a lot more relaxed now? Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow, buddy. Yeah, man. Cool. Thank you for your time. That's a wrap. Royal Mail done. TNT done. UPS done. Parcel force done. And I'm done. Right, it's Tuesday morning, you join me at my desk. I've just taken a few orders, just processing them. We've got plenty on today. We've got a weightlifting competition later on in the afternoon, so do look out for that. I'm gonna lift 200 kgs, so I'm the one who can lift more than anybody. About Let's go to the floor. Visi. Can you read my doctor's handwriting? No. Well, you know like the doctor, he just scribbles on the paper. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, oh, you're right, you want, you want 500 pills of paracetamol, do you? Because that's all that my doctor prescribes. He doesn't give anything about paracetamol. I can uh, pull weight only 4 or 5 kg, so I don't think so I will be eligible in that competition. So this is my lovely neighbour, we call him Gaff. And Gaff, just tell the viewers what do you do and how can they get in contact with you? Well, we've got printing business here. Um, large format signs, posters, banners. But uh, do definitely come out and check Gaff out. He does all your car wrapping, not car wrapping, but signage. Vehicle, vehicle signs. Yeah, vehicle signage. Graphics. Graphics, yeah. all that business. I thought that was a nail, but it's not. It's some sticky stuff. Right, Amr, you drive the van. Well, do you want to take the M5? Yeah, I'll take the M5, yeah. There's a mark on the door, look. And it don't come off. It may come off, because it's not deep. But uh, we'll get to hell to have a look at it. Well, let's go get ply line. Come on. Nobody knows who done it, Faris. So it was Faris. Faris blames Faris. Right, we just turned up to Fast Fit Nationwide. These are the guys who will be ply lining the back of the van. The gentleman's just jumped in the van. He's just taking the van round. See, that fits. And then that is supposed to go to that shape. Yeah. There around there. But just that's damaged. Does this get covered as well? Yeah, that's how that's the wheel I'll still fit on there. It's shaped to the side of the van. These will get covered, won't they? 
Yeah. The electrics uh, are just below. Bevel, sorry. That just sits above. It's all cheap now with the new vans. They used, everything used to be in the roof lining. Yeah. And now they're running around the outside. Shouldn't be exposed like that because that could get caught on something, you know? That's how they am these days. Same as a crafter as well. That's exactly the same. They've gone that, down that route with that one as well. So the van's back. We've had it ply lined. It's not the most exciting things to talk about. To be honest with you, we weren't very particular about these things. You know, we just get on with it, to be honest. We've took the rubber matting out, which the van came with, and we replaced the floor with some plywood as well, just to keep the van nice and secure. Right, all is well with the van, ready to hit the road, ready to do some proper graft. They do this free for you, VW. You just have to request it. Because when you buy the van, if you set them on a ply line, they'll leave for you. So if you buy a VW van, caddy, if you want it ply line, tell them you want it ply lined and they'll ply line it for you. And apparently it's free of charge. Yeah. This beautiful colour here. We got them Good. colours. Yes. Attention. Can I it? No, you take it. We got these colours. So anybody need order, it arrange. This patch is severely under stress because they've got no staff. And bear in mind there are about 120 orders that go out daily. You get your basic training, but then you'll be left to get on with things. Any issues come to me, but uh, yeah, it's just general organisation of yourself. So like I said, I need some people, I need some staff. So it's the end of the day, and as promised, we're going to do a weightlifting competition today. So first things first, what we're going to do, we're going to weigh this roll. Put it here, yeah. So Nafis has bought this trusty scale, and as you can see, it's sitting on zero. Come on, Nafis. There we go. Let go. The scale is reading what, Armour? 32. 32 kilos, yeah? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I'll show you how to do it. Right, you keep your back straight, like that. Right? And then you, what you're going to do is you're going to do twats. <laughs> Two. <coughs> Three. <coughs> Four. Five. 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 No good for you. Your stomach. As you see, my dad just demonstrated what we're going to do. So we're going to fireman lift this roll up. What's this here? And then we're going to do five squats. Navis, do you want to go first or should I go first? And then five squats. No, you don't have five squats. Yeah, five squats. One. All the way down, sir. All the way down. There you go, buddy. Right. And now it's champion. Here we go. Watch him embarrass himself. Light work. Light work. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. What? All the way down, mate. Oh. He didn't even go down. Man, wobbling. Yeah, gonna... <laughs> that's it. I'll put it on your shoulder. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Three more, Cam. Are you ready for it? Yeah, hang on then. Put it down, put it down. Right, two more, two more, one more. Put it down, how many you want? Come on, come on. Come on, come on. How many you want? Ten. Go on, two more, lad. Two more, come on. Light work, light work. That's it, that's it, my brother. I got it, I got it, let go. That's it. You got a fireman lift it and then five squats. Yeah, not a problem. Cheers! Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. You're right there, Jess. That's about the middle. Yeah? One. Whoa. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> How many you want? Five, five, five. five. Is That's that it? it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Oh, all right then. Right, we've all passed. So we okay. can put this roll back now. We jumped the gun a bit with this roll. We were supposed to start with 10 kilos, but I thought that's a bit light work. What's that? This is 30, 32 kilos. But for now, that is KBT workout done for the day. And it is coming to the end of the day. We're about to put the shutters down, so we'll see you tomorrow, most definitely. Welcome back to KBT Weekly, Wednesday morning, very busy, 
I'm Faris, today I think. Understaffed, I'm not, I've been saying this a lot haven't I, it's coming a bit repetitive. But it is what it is, we're understaffed, I'm on my own. A lot of orders, got a few containers coming today. Uh, a few containers that need to go out, two, three pallets that need to be made. And uh, looks like I'm going to have to be doing all of that on my own. So like I said, if you know anyone who needs a job, who's flexible, who's, who can handle a high temperature environment, apply. But yeah, let me just show you what I'm doing at the moment. 10 o'clock, we've been here half an hour. This is what we've packed so far. Just to give you an idea of the rolls that we do send out, sizes, different dimensions. These are our smaller packets, which are called Parcel Force. And there are even smaller ones are Royal Mail there, so three sacks are there, so we're progressing, we're moving forward slowly but surely. We've just got to keep up the tempo, keep it going. I've got to stay on top of the cutting guys, because when they cut, it comes directly through to me. I'm not even going to have to leave me to it, I'm very busy. Lunch time, yeah, it's coming, lunch time. Maybe, if you see Paris, Tal Paris, lunch time, I think 20 minutes left. So I wake up late today, so I go get the burgers. <laughs> and bend it with me so I'm gonna eat in a bit because baguette is easy you know when you're busy and then you got break and then after that you come back to work so it's better to get a baguette and munchy bro right this is the first of our pallets that have been delivered today this particular material is called Willow FR uh, our trained specialist forklift driver is going to be kindly taking it in for us so yeah, dispatch duties, this is what involves making sure we get the right stuff in at the right time. Right, as you can see we are pretty chocker blocking this warehouse. So all I'm working with is this space. But I have been promised by Faris that he's going to rearrange all of this mess. Still waiting though. A lot of promises, let's hope he keeps up for So yeah, let's keep it moving. That's one container in. Let's wait for the other one. It's lunch time. Let's go have some lunch. See you later. I'm here. I'm here. I'm just uh, come back from Greece. And uh, yeah, I'm Greece, half and Greece, uh, half Bulgarian and Greece. Greece miss me too much. Quick uh, job before Monday, 10 piece, but uh, say, uh, boss say, is coming regular customers every week, 10, 15 piece. I qu uh, make quickly tomorrow. Also, uh, I have to make uh, finish a red big chicken, uh, long bench in the, in the wall. Uh, yeah, that is the problem, but big project. I'm so happy. Tomorrow is last day, I finish. Where Stanley? Where Stanley? Where this Stanley? Is where friend. Stanley? This is my friend. Stanley's right here, people. Stanley ain't going nowhere. I discussed with Jason, the owner of Iconic. We had these done for them guys previously, uh, going back about a year ago, but he's asked me to change the color on them. So, Cam, if you just hold these, put them down. I'll just have one. Got it. So these are the boards that he has in his glass cabinet. He did have these done from us. He asked me to wrap it in a grey finish this time. We're going to head on to the back and give it to the stitching department to work on these uh, when they get a chance. Busy, busy, busy. Click and drop, mate. Click and drop. I don't have an aim, but I've got my own personal aims, which is basically try to get all the big rolls out as a matter of urgency and try to clear as much of that table as you can. No, with one person it's, it's very it's difficult, but it's something that it can't happen. You just gotta constantly, constantly be moving. Constant. So we're just with Stanley over at the station department. Stanley's gonna crack on with them. Shouldn't take us too long. And we just gotta get the fabric colour approved by the boys. We're gonna do that now over WhatsApp. The boys don't have the time to come down to choose the colour, so we're gonna try and get it as close as possible. And then we're going to hand it over to Stanley and Stanley's going to reupholster these for us. So basically, in a nutshell, all it is, is a smaller wooden piece glued to a larger wooden piece. This then slots into the actual glass cabinet. We will send Cam over there. He works alongside Iconic as well for their media. So we'll send Cam over there just to spin a quick cinematic of when these boards come back and get placed into the glass cabinet. To be fair, I mean, it's hardly touched anyway. It's just items are placed on it and removed from it etc quickly i want to show uh, explain people uh, i have uh, 
for array of, of host three, I have a need for two pieces. You, you can't see staples in the, this piece. This piece is first, small. And after that, it's coming this big piece to cover everything. To cover everything. I have two pieces. So, I don't know how long, but uh, yeah. It's a little bit complicated, but it's, it's should be okay. Them men do challenge, they're scared, yeah? So they're not ready for me, they don't tell me. So it's another KBT special, last minute order. We're gonna head over towards Parcel Force, drop this off, and then that will be the end of Wednesday. Thursday you join us in the warehouse, join us at lunchtime, we're off to M&S to get some lunch. I've been busy again this morning. As you all know, you're well versed with the uh, usual routine, buried in paperwork and all of that business. We're also going to continue on the segment of the weightlifting competition. Hopefully we're going to get uh, Abdul involved, but for now we're heading over towards M&S, we're going to grab some lunch. Plenty happening, there's a speeding ticket come through for the van. We're going to have to find out who that was, it wasn't me, I haven't driven the van in a long time. If you're a wrapping company, if you conduct business similar to uh, Yanomai's, do get in contact with us. We stock the whole range of Ulfa cutter blades. I did speak to Yanni and his team. Yesterday, in fact, I spoke to Bert. So hopefully we can work with them guys going forward. But if you are a wrapping company or if you're a vinyl company or anything like that, please let us know and we're happy to work with you. You know, as always, teamwork makes a dream work. We have got a few things in the pipeline, which you'll see going forward in the future vlogs but uh, for now we're still working we're still building we're still here we're not going anywhere yeah no fair play to Yanni you know at the end of the day I know he's uh, knocked the tea right on the head he was the innovator of this so-called weekly vlogs credit where credit's due you know it's not easy man running your own business it's not easy managing a team it's it's definitely definitely not for the faint-hearted but uh, anyway that's enough of that stoppiness we're gonna head over towards M&S Grab some lunch and we're gonna head back and we'll catch you guys back in the office. Let's go. Armor. Thursday afternoon, playing catch up as per usual, but we're on it. Trying to stay on top of it. Gotta keep the tempo going, keep it moving, otherwise you won't get nothing done. Dispatch is a two-man operation, probably three-man operation, seeing as though we've got a lot more products now, a lot more platforms where we sell on, so it's definitely a two, three people job, but we've got no staff, as I've said every day this week, so I'm just doing it myself, it's very, very, very tough, it's very difficult, you've got to stay on top of it, to High, high tempo, high temperature environment. This one order come today, so I have to be ready for tomorrow. And I hope so I finish it in three hours or four hours. It's 165 meter. So I have to stand three hours there and chuck everything, needle broke or whatever, and keep it soft, nice. So if I do the best job, I know he will come back again. If I don't do the best job, so I will lose it, so that's why my job is, I have to focus on my job. We can make different design as well in this machine, just need to change the needles to the design. So i show you that side. Anybody can choose their own color as well. So this is the colors for the fabrics. So anybody need any design color, or they can bring their own everything I can do here. So we, we have 100 gram form, 150, 70, 60. So at the moment, it's winter time, it's cold. So we have 150 gram foam. So that's going to keep you warm. I will make my shoulder on your job. Seeing as we're here, we're going to do a product review. And today we are reviewing the 12 ounce, 340 GSM cotton canvas. We are using the olive green as an example today. This fabric is available in 15 vibrant colors and it's perfect for tent use. It's a very taut fabric, it doesn't have much stretch in it. Perfectly ideal for your tents and outdoor uses. So this is a medium to heavyweight fabric. It is a biodegradable as it is 100% cotton. So yeah, let us know guys if you do need any work doing. 
and we will leave a link in the description below for both the fabric and the stitching service as you know Stanley and the boys in the stitching department this is all they do day in day out watch Yanomazi's last weekly obviously he stopped doing the weekly now sometimes you've got to let it go you uh, rest in peace something Yanni says in that vlog which actually hit home although he finished on 70 weeklies and we're only just scratching the surface at 17. There is something that he said which did hit home to me, which was, you know, you gotta get up and show up every time, and every time you show up on camera, it has to be 110%. It doesn't matter what's going on in the background. Everybody just wants the 120% Faris, right? And the 120% work ethic from everybody, even down to your employees. We actually have to cater for that as management to make sure that the morale stays high in everybody because unfortunately, we do live in the real world. Anyway, customer just came in. They wanted his motorcycle seat replaced. So I've just sold him some vinyl and I just thought I'd speak about this on camera. As you know, Furious Fury, Mr. Man of not so many words. I was gonna say man of many words, but he's, he's a man of not so many words. He's busy upstairs. He makes these for all our ranges. So this is a KBT fabric shade card. This is for each and individual fabric. So this particular shade card is for the Just Color Vinyl, which is perfect for your motorbike seats, your motorhome seats, your RV, your cars, even for your boat seats, as it is an antifungal fabric. Yes, Fury. Yeah. What's this? Furious Fury, everyone. <laughs> Serious guy. <laughs> But uh, Fury's just handing me some more shade cards. I think he's been overhearing our conversation. So let's see what we have in store here. So first up, I think he's just made these, that's why. Furious, wonderful job, mate. So next up is our velvet upholstery fabric. Now, again, we use this quite a lot for seating fabric, for bench seats. This is mostly used in the hospitality trade. So your hotels, your bars, your clubs, your restaurants, things like that. We will, like always, leave a link in the description below. Do go check this out. Do get in contact with us. We are very competitive. Do give us a call on 0121 359 2349 or visit our website, which is fabricuk.com. Do send us a message and one of our friendly staff will get back to you. So that brings Thursday to a close. And Armour just reminded me, Academy Signs haven't yet priced us up. For the lights, as you can see, they've all dimmed out. Just about light behind the K, but the BNT finished although it's just appearances we got to keep up with them it's not important so slip my mind but i will get onto it tomorrow and we will definitely see you back here tomorrow Join us in the warehouse, it's Friday. It's just gone 10 o'clock. I've just printed all the orders for the boys. We've got to get some fleeces done for next week, get them embroidered with a KBT Media logo. So that's one job. We have got a big event next week with Abid and the boys. We will fill you in more about that next week. I'm gonna go get a tux made. I'll see if the boys can actually make me one in a week. If not, I'll probably just go get a ready-made one and then just get it altered. Friday is usually more of a relaxed day towards the end of the week but it's also a very tense day. Everybody wants to get out the door as soon as possible. Still short-staffed as always. That problem will probably live with us forever. Don't know what's going on. So first jobs first, we need to go and purchase some Burgas fleece. Well, I say Burgas, it can be any fleece. We're gonna go and have a look at some different ranges. We'll have a look online, see what we can find. If not, we'll pop over to Decathlon or one of these uh, sports stores and see if we can find something. You do want something good quality because I've had this jacket for five years. I mean, I had this printed, as I say, about five years ago. Just simple text on there for my storage business and it's lasted me all this time. I've got about three, four of these. You can't always tell the feel and what type of, of jacket it is from a picture. And it's the same principle with the fabric. So, for example, if you was to buy this camo quilted, you wouldn't know what it actually feels like. This is the sole reason why we offer free sample service. Our customers can actually see what they're buying. So I just had a customer come in. He wants to purchase some of this brush nylon. He wants to make some cushion covers out of it. This fabric is available in various different colors. It's 150 centimeter wide, perfect for cushion covers, whatever you want really. 
just a cheap way to cover furniture if you want to just cover something you know dust protection or anything like that we're just going to measure it on this trusty measuring machine and see how much uh, is on this roll because the customer wants to purchase the whole thing so try and get that level not the best but sort itself out once we get rolling. How's it going buddy? Uh, Friday, end of the week. Trying to finish off everything today. Hopefully we can get through it. Bit of a tight squeeze here but I think we'll just about make it. It doesn't rain much but it's just very long. Uh, any plans for the weekend now? Rest up, family time. Spend some time with my little one and just try to recuperate and get ready again for the busy week on Monday. This is an absolute fantastic corker of a colour. Not been released yet but we've just done it now so you'll see it online very very soon um, I'd call it tan brown and we've got also this stuff here this is a high vis orange so let me put this over here I've got so much work to be doing I've got this colour to do these are all colours that need cooking these are limited colours as well you're not going to get these colours again there are only one offs there we got this one here to do as well. Links in the description. Phone us 0121 359 2349 and we'll send some free samples. We've got loads of offcuts when we change, cut, change fabrics on the machines. And we sell them time to time. So if anybody wants any, get in touch with us. We've got loads. We put them in a big bag like this. Well, this bag's like overflowing, this one is. You know, you, you'll get all sorts in here. You get like velvets in there. You'll get fleeces in there. We sell the whole bag, whatever's in there. Right, we're back from Juma. It's lunchtime. Saj has just handed me this. We're just going to pop over, see if we can get hold of one of these. I'm not sure exactly what it is. It's some sort of base plate for the quilting machine. We've just come to pick up this part that Saj gave us. Let's head on in and speak to Richard. Rich the man. It's just us again. Hello there. KBT boys with a camera. How you doing? We need one of these. Yeah, we got those. Let's have a look. I say we should have. Just bear with me. Thank you, sir. You don't happen to know what the name of that cutter is, G? Some Chinese one. Some Chinese one, yeah. Yeah. You want a 65 mil blade? He's gonna have a look, but he said he might, he might have it, or he might need to order it. He's gonna have a look now. Has he got the that plate? Yes, he's got the plate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You didn't say S nut. You just said nutters to me, Church. No, I said go to the C-nut. Yeah, you, you should have said S-nut. Well, there's only one nut who does sewing machines. Have you had anybody come in since we made that video of your, of your store? Um, we, we Actually, a couple of little people came in. They said that... Um, they, they've seen us on... Yeah. It's yeah? A, I watch it every Sunday myself, 8 o'clock. Do you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt. Good, good man. <laughs> there you go. We're going to have to start charging now. We're not charged, Richard and the boys, because no. we've uh, we've known each other too long. Thank you. <laughs> he probably strangle me with that measuring tape yeah. if I ask him for any money. If you do want your business advertised on our channel, please do let us know. The proof is in the pudding. As Tony has just mentioned, he's had a couple of customers come in off the back of the video. So, so we just come back from lunch, and lo and behold, more issues. The lock on the gate for our car park, somebody has mysteriously cut it off. But again, nobody knows who done it, Faris. So we just quickly popped over to Halfords and bought a new one. We've missed the carriers now, so <clears throat> we're still going ahead with what I'm meant to do. We're going to keep packing and hopefully get these out for Monday. But, uh, the carriers are all gone now, apart from Royal Mail, which means only small parcels. But that don't mean we stop, keep going. So as you can see, this is the old one. Somebody's cut it straight off. Yeah. Fabulous. Job's done. Let's go. Let's head back inside. 
we're gonna start round two of the weightlifting competition. So yesterday was Diwali and uh, we celebrated it. There were uh, 15 to 16 people at our home and we invited them for dinner and so that we can celebrate together. So we had food, uh, we enjoyed, we talked a lot and we had some, you know, sparklers. And today I'm also going to uh, Diwali celebration again. So, no, it's only one day Diwali, but uh, one of our friends, they invited us for the dinner. So it was day before yesterday, third, then fourth and now today. So finally this weekend it will be finished. I came Monday, Tuesday and then I took two days off because of Diwali celebration. And then I came again today and it's a lot of paperwork. <laughs> so I'm trying to finish my work as soon as possible. My projects usually when they start, they can carry on for a long, long, long time actually. Maybe weeks or months or something. Like say for example in this uh, new design project. So it may seems very, it may seem very easy kind of thing, just front like you know design. But because it's a custom made website, so I got the design. Now I have to convert it to the custom made website, like you know, uh, acceptable to accommodate it there and uh, to be compatible with that. So I have to extract modules. I have to convert that HTML code to the PHP programming server uh, language. And uh, also then I have to uh, make sure all these codes and everything doesn't generate errors uh, and it fits properly. So obviously it carries on for a long time. So that's all we're going to be discussing for the coming probably few weeks or something. So we're just with the main man Warren from Felipe Remy. Yep. He's got his own clothing brand. He's doing a wicked job, man. I'll let him tell you a bit more about it. He's just come to pick up some new fabric or have a look at some new fabric for a new line that he's bringing. But as I say, I'll let uh, Warren explain a bit more. Hi guys, what's going on? So I'm taking over the camera today. I'm Warren, fashion designer from Birmingham owner of uh, Felipe Remy. Follow us on Instagram, Felipe Remy Official. The aim of the brand is to literally just inspire people and motivate people to sort of um, be a better version and luxurious version of themselves through fashion. And um, today I'm just here looking at some new fabrics that I'm going to be using for my, my next collection. So uh, what I like to do is I like to come here and sort of like just pick some samples. As you all know, obviously this is a place to go for, for, for the fabrics, do you know what I mean, in Birmingham. The new line is all about, um, I'm looking at the LA um, scene really, the LA fashion scene. So uh, right now, obviously we all know fear of God killing it. So I'm looking to sort of like blend like the UK and like LA um, streetwear. So like you can see, I've got, um, I mean, I've put on a bit of weight, so it's not so much oversized, but yeah, this sort of like box fit t-shirts. And uh, we've got some some tracksuits as well that you can check out online at philipperemy.com. Uh, UK streetwear and sort of like LA streetwear. And it's about comfort, quality. That's the main thing really, because um, after a while, people tend to forget about the prices and it's the quality that will obviously remain. Being a great day, I found the fabrics that I came here for. Shout out to KBT Weekly and the links for my Stuff will be in the description below. All right, thank you guys. Have a good one. First thing in the morning, 8 a.m. I've got a job in Northampton. I've got to unload the van. There's a sewing machine in there, which we're just about to take out. So this is the start of the weightlifting competition. We're just going to warm up. We're going to do a cheeky one. We're going to warm up before the boys, make sure our muscles are ready and pumped for that 40 kg roll. Yes, boys. Tension. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, take it that tight. Thank you. Okay. Hold on, let me just level it out. Right, first things first. We need to weigh the roll. Right, it's 45 kilos this is, 45 kilos. So what did we do uh, two days ago? 32, so we're at an increase of 10 kilos. Right, who's going first? We're doing it alphabetically and Abdul is going first. No, Abdul, put yeah. it on your shoulder. Whoa. Hi there, mashallah. One. Zero. One. Zero. Two. Two. Right, next up is who? 
All right, go on. Now he's supposed to go first. Oh, yeah. Five, yeah. Whoa. One, two. Three. Oh, I'm so on, buddy. Come on, Nappy, you can do it, brother. One more, one more. One more. Go on, son. Right. <laughs> buddy, I'm telling you, after the third one, mate. What do you mean, bro? Come on. You ready, yeah? Yeah. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Light work, bro. I'll run with the roll, look. You ready? One, two, three. You guys see, I was squatting. I was, it was very easy. Just don't think in your head is heavyweight. So just go for it. So I know I was gonna go to more, but it's all right. You will see more and more videos. So if you can believe yourself to do anything, you have to work hard. And where you working, you have to love it. Don't scare if like, oh, this is heavy or this is that, this, this, this. You know, there's a one word you say, don't do anything, just move around. So when you're moving, everybody will love you. So keep your head busy in work and then everything enters. <laughs> anyway, so I just want to say thank you to Abdul for that wonderful speech he just gave. It was very therapeutic, wonderful. Very nice to hear that on a Friday evening before we go home. Myself, Abdul and Nafis are the strongest people here. Everybody else forfeited. But it is the end of the day. We're not going to leave the vlog here, but that's everything from KBT. You join us at the farmhouse. It's just gone 11 o'clock. We've just turned up. Obviously, we're killing two birds with one stone. We're getting some food and we're also going to chat to the owner. Uh, he goes by the name of WM Vic on Instagram. Obviously, you guys must be well acquainted with him by now. But we will leave a link in the description below of all his details. Can't forget the main man, Taz. Taz, come over. Don't be shy, man. Don't be shy. But let's head on in, get some food. And you know, we'll do a little review, but the amount of times I come here, you guys must watch me on Instagram. The amount of times I spend here, you think I might live here, but I don't. The food's just banging and service is always on point. Come through, my bro. Come, let's go. I don't know, everybody keeps saying to me, man, oh, show the cars more, show the cars more. Oh, bro, I want to sell fabric here, man. We have a good problem. He's like, I'm going to come to Vic, bro, for, for all your car stuff. You're not going to believe who I bumped into. Big Mo Shazzy. <laughs> come on, big Abby College days, bro. Yeah. I, he's took me back about 15 years. No, nah, not, not even that long. Quite gassing. How long has he been, Mo? Yeah, he's been about that long. about 10 years, has not he? I've seen this guy in 10 years, you know, bro. <laughs> Everyone at KVT, especially Uncle Salaamalaikum. Yeah, Uncle's no, gonna remember we'll you, don't worry. Nah, we'll I'll come down and <laughs> see you in the car. Uncle's gonna remember you. Come on, bro. You know what? Honestly, well, bro, I'm good to see you, man. Mashallah, man. Mashallah, man. Mashallah, man. Mashallah, man. Mashallah, man. You've all met Adi before. <laughs> Obviously, big man here at our farmhouse. No, no, no. no. Always shows love. Yeah, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why not? Why not? Arab style. Yeah. Oh, you've got my Stay next to this guy, he's gonna take the car. I've got my driving license. Oh, you have it? Nah, man. Charlie, Bismillah insurance. Bismillah, yeah. <laughs> hey, how are you? We've been running Bismillah insurance for a long time. <laughs> Obviously, we've been having too much fun. Just catching up with loads of people. I must have bumped into about three, four people that I've known for like so many years, and I haven't seen them in so many years. But our food's turned up. For starters, we've got dynamite shrimps and we've got some samosa chart. And for mains, I've got the chili chicken mac. Sorry, the chicken chili mac comes with a side of mac and cheese, some coleslaw with the famous farmhouse chips. You cannot compete with these chips, mate. Trust me. I, you know what? I normally like when I see people giving reviews and they haven't even eaten the food, and I'll be like, bro, you haven't even eaten the food. How are you giving reviews? Trust me, I come here regular. I know what this food's like. It's gonna be banging. Uh, for drinks, I've got uh, Wicked and Bad, but don't mind me, I'm about to dig in, so I'll see you guys in a little while, once our plates are nice and clean. Just quickly, mid-meal, Mo's just come to give us salam, he's on his way home, but we've really stopped him. He's the brains behind all these mocktails, so big up this guy, bro, seriously. Alright, we just finished up eating, absolutely lovely munch as always. We just got the owner come over to us, family as well as friends. His name is Wakas, but he goes by the name of WM Vic on Instagram. Big love to him, always looks after us whenever we come down. Vic? Yeah, pleasure having you guys here, man. Every week, obviously, we see you like family as well, so it's good to have you guys here. 
we're gonna leave that here we're gonna discuss some future plans with farmhouse right i don't know if you guys can see me but we've just finished up from the farmhouse it's literally just gone half one two o'clock the boys are locking up just behind us uh, Vic's made his way to his car big thank you to the farmhouse as always we discussed a few things with these guys about their future on youtube more about that in coming weeks for now we're gonna love you and leave you that's the end of kbt weekly episode 17 we'll see you back monday morning for another long week of graph and as always i'm faris that's armor that's cam visuals and we'll see you next week people peace